The people of Myanmar have been waging a war against the Burmese military in all parts of the country to eradicate the system of dictatorship since October 27, 2023. The main area of the operation is the Northern Shan State. This operation was initiated by the Three Brotherhood Alliance TBA by launching an offensive against the Burmese military that stated the 2021 February coup. The Three Brotherhood Alliance are Tang National Liberation Army TNRA, Arakan Army AA, and Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army MNDAA. In addition, Korean National Union, Korean National Liberation Army KNU KNRA, Bama People's Liberation Army BPRA, People's Defense Force Mandalay PDF Mandalay, Korean Nationalities Defense Force KNDF, and Chin National Army CNA are also collaborating in this operation. This operation was initiated with the goals to safeguard the lives and property of civilians, to serve defense, to eradicate the system of dictatorship, to take effective action against online gambling and fraud businesses, and to ensure stability on border areas. This operation is stemming from the territorial domination intentions of Tang, Koka, and Rakhine. TNRA's operation area is the largest in this better. TNRA is leading the operation in many areas of Northern Shan State, aiming to liberate its motherland Tang State. In addition, MNDAA is initiating the operation in Koka regions, especially in Laokai, Chin Shui Ho, and Gongjian townships. After two months since the beginning of the operation, TNRA has seized complete control of the towns of Namsan, Namkam, Mando, Milo, Namadu, and Maingo. In addition, TNRA has in total captured 70 SAC camps including its strategic camp hills and main bases in townships that TNRA has mopped out on its agenda as Tang State Territory. The Myanmar National Democratic Alliance Army MNDAA has also captured 204 SAC camps and taken complete control of the towns of Gongjian, Pangsang, Guanlo, Qin Shui Ho, Juko, and Daini. Furthermore, in Rakhine State, the Arakan Army AA has seized more than 140 SAC camps. The revolutionary forces believe that the morale of the people of Myanmar, who have long been severely oppressed by the military hunter, has been lifted, and that the hope of ending the system of military dictatorship in Myanmar is approaching much closer. Here in this article, I would like to present to you the Tang National Liberation Army TNRA. In this article, let's see whether the TNRA is mapping its motherland Tang state with this 1027 operation. Before mentioning about TNRA, let's have a look back at the revolutionary history of the Tang people. Under the leadership of PSF TNRA, the political thinking and warfare knowledge of the Ang people have been awakened only over a decade. The Ang people mostly live in Northern Shan State and in remote and mountainous areas in Southern and East Shan State. The primary source of the Ang people's income mainly comes from tea-based agriculture. However, although the Ang people used to show little interest in warfare and political affairs, Following the establishment of TNRA, there has been a positive change and increase in Tang youth political awareness. Tang people have long been marginalized and neglected under the rule of the successive Burmese dictatorship government for more than 70 years. However, just like other ethnic groups in Myanmar, there have been Tang national revolutionary organizations over the years. Palau National Front PNF, which started in 1963, was formed into the Palau State Liberation Organization, Palau State Liberation Army PSLO PSLA in 1976, which was forced to disarm 
by the Burmese military in 2005. In 1992, some of the PSLA leaders who were in Manipal territory in Karin State continued and started to form the Blount State Liberation Front PSLF as they had no confidence in the 1991 ceasefire agreement with the military dictatorship government. After 2005, as the PSLA was disbanded and no longer in charge of local administration, from 2006 onward, incidents of human rights violations, human trafficking, the cultivating, producing and selling of drugs and drug abuses became more prevalent in the Ang region. In order to prevent and solve these problems, the Ang National Liberation Army was formed in 2007 by PSRF. An official announcement was made in 2009. Since then, TNRA has vigorously implemented projects and activities of eradicating Nagotis and the general administration in the Ang region. Although the Ang National Revolutionary Organizations had been in existence throughout the years, they have not been able to develop the Ang region, which had been lagging behind in every aspect. However, the resurgence of PSRF TNRA has afforded the organization to exert influence on the armed communities and the armed civil society organizations. The main objective of PSF TNRA is to build the armed state that guarantees complete self-determination. TNRA initiated the implementation of basic public services such as education, healthcare, administration and rural and local development. Under the administration of PSRF, General Administrative Department, Defense Department, Judicial Department, Land and Forest Conservation Department, Department of Women Development, Education Department have been established and these departments are carrying out local restoration activities. We have split our land and forest management sessions into four categories. Firstly, to ensure that landscapes of forests and mountains are large and green. Secondly, to ensure land for rural and community development be demarcated. Thirdly, to ensure area for projects and economic activities be mapped. And finally, to protect and preserve wildlife. These activities have been completed in three districts, Shirley districts, Manau districts and Namsan districts. Prior to the establishment of this lands and forest reservation departments, occasions of bushfire and forest arson were frequent. In some areas, forest fires were intentionally studied and wood obtained was turned into charcoal. I I don't care that the bread. I think that the bread in. With this being done by the public as a business, wildlife animals under protection again hunting are still many. Along Shirley River, in Shirley districts, and up to Momek in Namsan districts in the state, land and forests are preserved as nature reserves. We especially conserve elephants wild bulls, monkeys, and other rare animal species. Up to this October 2023, PSLF TNRA has opened basic education high school and advanced training school and is trying to administer up to university level education. In judicial and legislative sector, PSLF TNRA has opened township level and district level course to ensure rights protection is practiced through legislation and law enforcement in the Tang region. Moreover, PSLF TNRA has been able to open the law academy school to produce more lawyers and legal advisors. <laughs> 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 
The rule of law plays a crucial role in order for Tang people in Tang state to live peacefully with their property safely guarded. For that very reason, we are running training courses to ensure that the law is strictly enforced. The judicial department is opening training courses for lawyers, officers, and just officers, and on-job training courses. It's the first time we have run training courses for lawyers and judges. We have drawn up training schemes for the courses to be run one year, aiming to produce more workforce and staff for judicial and legal activities. It's important that legal cases are examined and prosecuted justly. Lawyer officers are to lend support to young people when they have to bring their cases to court and hire a lawyer. PSLF TNLA reform by former young comrade of PSLO PSLA has become the most powerful organization to have own widespread public support in the revolutionary history of the Ang ethnic. Within a few years, PSLF TNLA has been able to gather tens of thousands of active personnel in each organization. PNRA, which began its activities in the Ang region, prioritized the eradication of OPM cultivation. Clashes between TNRA and the Myanmar military and the People's Militia regularly broke out during periods of TNRA's projects on anti poppy production and use of it. After PSLA laid down its arms, Myanmar government permitted the cultivating of poppies in Tang regions, particularly in Pansi areas. 70% of poppies in Tang regions were cultivated in the said areas. After forming PSLF TNLA, no puppy farms in Tang villages could be seen, except in the other ethnic areas and in areas stationed by Burmese troops and people militias. According to our records, we have been able to destroy 4,000 acres of puppy farms with 1,000 acres still remaining. We could not penetrate into this area as they were controlled by Burmese troops. With area death, our access is possible. No puppy farm is left. In Pansi areas, there are also people's militias in addition to the Burmese troops. These people's militias came into formation based on drugs and opium with any activities of ours to wipe out puppy farms. A clash usually broke up between Burmese troops and our team. The Burmese army invariably provided protection to all puppy farms. Thus, our encounter with them is usually inevitable. TNRA has garnered more public support as in the rural and mountainous areas where it actively embraced OPM cultivation. Drunk dealing and consumption drastically decline. However, TNRA must take the time to pursue its goal, which is the image of the Ang state that guarantees full self determination. <laughs> After the Myanmar military stay a coup on February 1, 2021, the objectives of TNRA became more visible. Why the Myanmar military couldn't focus on fighting against ethnic revolutionary forces? As the nationwide armed revolutionary forces emerge, TNRA could see the opportunity to successfully implement its goals. In addition, TNRA was able to consolidate its forces why the Myanmar military was focusing on the process of oppressing the civilians who were peacefully demonstrating protests against the coup in urban cities. In the last three years before the 1027 operation, TNRA could establish institutions for its administration, 
judicial and public services, such as education and health care, in the regions demarcated as the Ang State. In 2022, TNRA could reopen over 300 schools in the Ang region, which had been closed during the COVID-19 pandemic period and the military coup. The Ang National Education Committee, TNAC, successfully managed to run 369 schools in 2022-2023 academic year in 10 townships. In these 369 schools are 279 primary schools, 78 middle schools and 12 high schools. In 2023-2024 academic year, we have been able to extend the number of schools up to 381 in the set 10 townships. Tang Community Health Organization teacher was re-established in 2021 to provide Ember public health care services. Teacher couldn't only provide public health care services but also open hair related training schools. As an organization that provides health service, we have managed to run 18 health departments to provide health service to the public as our first health care program. In this first nine health care mega projects, all is being well implemented except for the expanded program on injection treatment. In the current warfare in Northern Shan State, the outposts and bases of the military general are being seat and occupied one after another, and the administrative system of the general is in complete chaos. In addition, the armed revolutionary forces throughout the country have also announced their support and participation in this operation. The operation thus has spread beyond Northern Shan State and reached Kaya State Kareni, Karen State, Magwe region, Sagai region, Chin State, Kachin State, and Arakan State. The people of Myanmar are making every effort to turn this 1027 operation into one that ensures the building of the Ang State, homecoming operation of the Kokan people to their native land, and the eradication of military regime government and the system of dictatorship in Myanmar. Just as there have been numerous damages both sides during this operation, there has also been a number of incidents of the military general targeting the civilians. During this time of difficulty, there is a great need of education of children which cannot be neglected. And the basic needs of the internally displayed persons, INDP, such as food, medicine, and safe shelter. Therefore, I would like to present in the conclusion of the article that Having a safe life and the right to live is the hope and dream of the Ang people and of all the people of Myanmar. <laughs>